Look at this picture. This picture is inside of a submarine. Now, the submarine always stays inside water. So, how do these people see things or objects above the surface of the water? Well, they use this periscope. Now, due to the multiple reflections from a periscope, these people can see the objects above the surface of the water. Now, even on a graph paper, we can make multiple reflections of a point. Let's see how. Now, we have placed this candy at the point A. Or the point A is placed here with the x-coordinate as 5 and y-coordinate as 3. Okay. So, now we will reflect this point on both the mirrors, like both on the y-axis and the x-axis. First, considering y as the mirror, let's reflect this point. Now, you know, whenever we reflect a point about the y-axis, then only the x-coordinate changes and that only the sign of the x-coordinate changes. So, we got 5 as minus 5 here, whereas the y-coordinate remains same. So, we got the image as A1. Now, we will reflect this image on the x-axis. That is, now x-axis will act as the mirror line here and we will reflect the image again here. So, what do we get? We get A2. Now, you know that whenever we reflect a point about the x-axis, then the sign of the y-coordinate changes. See, x-coordinate is same here. And the sign of y-coordinate is changing. So, we get this image as A2. Now, what we do? We reflect this A2 back on the y-axis. Let's see what we get. We get the image as A3. So, you can see we are reflecting this candy once here, then two eyes, then three eyes. So, we are having a multiple reflections of this candy. So, you can see again when we are reflecting it on the y-axis, the sign of the x-coordinate is changing, well, whereas y-coordinate remains same. Now, let me ask you a question. What if I had just reflected this on the x-axis? Forget about all this. I had reflected this point, that is this point, on the x-axis. Which of the three reflections would I have got? Well, you know that whenever I reflect this point on the x-axis, then the sign of the y-coordinate will change. So, you can see that from this image, from this object, we would get this image as the only the sign of the y-coordinate is changing here, whereas the x-coordinate remains same. So, you can see multiple reflections are so interesting. What if I want only the image A2, that is this point, from the object A? I do not want A1 in between. What can I do? Well, I can reflect it through the origin. Now, that's something new for us. See, the origin can also act as a point of mirror for us. Now, reflecting a through the origin. We go this way and we go this way. So, we are reflecting this object through the origin to get this image. We will not need A1 here. We can directly get A2 from this A. Now, there is one property attached to it now. Now, what happens whenever we reflect a point through the origin, the both the sign of the x-coordinate and y-coordinate changes. See? You can see in the object A, x coordinate is 5, whereas in the image A2, x coordinate is minus 5. So the sign has changed. What about the y coordinate? In the object, y coordinate is 3, whereas in the image A2, y coordinate is minus 3. So both these signs have changed. So what did you learn? Both the sign of the x-coordinate and y-coordinate will change 
when we reflect a point about the origin. Now see an interesting thing from this image itself. You got A2 from A reflecting through the origin and you could get A3 directly from A1 if it is reflected through the origin. Check for the signs. Here you can see x coordinate is minus 5 whereas in A3 that is the image that is reflected from the origin has got the x coordinate as 5. So the minus sign is changing to positive sign whereas the positive sign of the y coordinate is changing to the negative sign of the y coordinate. So both the signs are changing. So what did we learn? Whenever we reflect any point through the origin, the sign of both x and y changes. Now do the sum for me. Find the coordinates of the reflection of point P, which is 3 comma minus 7, when it is reflected about both x-axis and y-axis and origin. Do these. Now you know that when a point is reflected on the x-axis, x remains constant while sine of y changes. So first let's do this. So what will P1 become? x remains constant, copy down 3. Sine of y changes, so minus 7 will become 7. Now we have to reflect this to the y-axis. Now what happens? When we reflect the point through y-axis, y remains constant and sine of x changes. So what will we get P2 as? y remains constant, to so copy down y. Sine of x changes, so 3 will become what? Minus 3. So this is the final image you are getting after P is reflecting from both x-axis and y-axis. Now let me tell you an interesting thing. Now if you had first reflected it on the y-axis and then reflected that image on the x-axis, you would have got the same image. Now let's do the another the part of the sum. We have to reflect this point on the origin. Now you know that when we reflect the point on the origin, sine of both x and y change. So let's write the image as p dash. Write the coordinates. x will change its sign. From 3, it will become minus 3. And y will also change its sign. Minus 7 will become 7. So this is what we are getting when we reflect P from origin.